So, the first base layer is vegan mayo. Four tablespoons. Oh, nice. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of maple syrup. That's a tablespoon of tamari and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard for some spice. Looking good. And something a bit unusual as well is a tablespoon of capers, which again, add another kind of salty layer. And I don't know, they just bring it all together perfectly. Two cloves of peeled garlic, juice of one lemon for that beautiful citrus charge, two teaspoons of nutritional yeast flakes, which adds the cheesy flavor instead of the Parmesan. That's the secret ingredient. Two teaspoons of white wine vinegar for extra sharpness and one tablespoon of olive oil. Now, the stick blender is very important because I've got whole pieces of garlic and it's going to emulsify it and bring it together into this really creamy dressing. That's it done. Oh, get rid of this. Let's get the croutons out. These should be nice and golden and crispy now with all that fresh oregano flavor and sea salt. Yeah, perfect. Be rude not to just try one quickly. Oh yeah. Mmm, that is so good. Yum. Now, let's get on with the fresh elements. Romaine is the classic lettuce for a Caesar salad, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like it quite chunky. We're just not gonna make a fuss over this. It's quick. Get it into the container. And now, I've added something a little different. This isn't a classic classic, but it's a Mary classic. Two ripe avocados. And then there's just enough lemon left in here. If I give it, oh yeah, a good squeeze, that will stop it going brown when it's traveling. So that's the avocado done. We're ready to pack it up. Okay, I'm all set, let's go. Can we have a moment for a quick Q&A with Jamie Dornan, who was my guest earlier? Jamie, are you ready for your quick fire food Q&A? Yes, I am. What food reminds you of home? Probably cabbage and mash. Mm. What's your favourite vegetable? It's too obvious and Irish to say the potato, but <laughs> essentially it is the potato because of the versatility of a potato. Yeah. Um, so probably potato. I love Brussels sprouts, so. Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts. Why? My dad always tries to sell them to me, saying they're like the perfect like mini cabbage, and I'm like, no, it's a Brussels sprout. He's right. He's right. <laughs> what food do you dislike the most? I struggle with avocado. I love an avocado. I know. Weirdly, I love guacamole, yeah. but like just eating it by itself, no. What food could you not live without? <laughs> I'm gonna say potato again. It's <laughs> terrible. So you're really sporty. Mm -hmm. What is the sport that you favor and love the most now? I'm obsessive about golf, uh, watching golf, playing golf. Who would be at your dream dinner? You can pick as many people as you'd like. I think I'd have both my parents, actually. I uh, don't know, neither of them are around anymore, so I'd have both of them. Probably Elvis. Good I'd choice. probably need him around. Uh, and my wife. Aw. Yeah. That would be a nice dinner party. It I would like be a good that. Crack, actually, yeah. I know this is a weird last question, but do you have a tip for sparkling teeth? Um, <laughs> I do weirdly have a bit of a tip for sparkling teeth. Um, yeah, coconut oil. Um, it's a bit of a commitment. You have to swirl it around in there for, they say, 20 minutes. I say you can probably get away with 10 or 12 minutes because you can't talk or anything whilst it's happening. It does work, though. That's funny. I'm going to try it. Um, Jamie, thank you for being part of my quickfire Q&A. Thank you. You're it's, welcome back any time. It was stressful. <laughs> you passed the test. Thank you, kid.